Hey guys, and welcome back to another satisfactory guide. Now, after checking out Arklev's awesome factory and elevator tower, I thought we'd do a little guide on how you can do it yourself with my own little twist. Now, before we get started, if you do find this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more guides like this and community factory tours, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. Anyway, with all that out the way, let's jump straight in. So so first off I thought we'd check out my original elevator which it looks alright and it works but requires a bit of moving around if you want to get anywhere. However the idea in today's video is that we make an elevator that's fully automated so we can just step on it and it does the rest for us. Now please bear in mind that regardless of where we place our elevator we will probably have to work around the terrain but if you do have a clear open space to work from you should be able to keep the elevator to a minimum size. So once you've found the right spot you're going to want to place some foundations down. Now the minimum lift size for this process would be a 5 by 1 although I recommend a minimum of five foundations by three foundations. Now once we've placed these you're then going to want to place a one by eight meter foundation on top of the two side rows of foundations leaving a small uh, valley if you like in the middle. Now at one end you will need to place the diagonal bounce pad facing inwards and on the opposite side place four large foundations followed by a half foundation in a stack and then place place another diagonal bounce pad facing inwards. Now we're going to repeat this until we reach the actual top. Now do note that you do not have to place this in a straight line. You can actually run this up in a square circuit like Arklev does. Oh and if you want to see the build um, I'll post a link below and have a little link here just so that you can check it out and see what he does. Now it's really that simple what we've talked about. Although I tend to try and hide the power cables behind the walls so as not to disturb the aesthetic look that we've developed. Now if you do encounter an issue whether it's part of the factory that's in the way which you don't want to demolish or if you've hit a natural wall like myself I recommend placing a conveyor in the position you land. This can then be reversed or you can carry it on to go around to another uh, location. And at the end of this said conveyor, you can actually place another bounce pad. Um, just be, be warned, you do need to remove the conveyor pole at the end of the conveyor system. Otherwise, you're just going to get stopped there and you're going to have to walk on which with an automation build, that's not really what we want to be doing. Now, if you're using corners uh, when you're being taken along the conveyor, make sure you place a couple of conveyor poles uh, along the corners to nudge you around them. Um, you need to make sure that they're very close to the edge of the conveyor. You don't want them in the center. If so, you're probably going to end up getting stuck there. Um, but it just takes a fair bit of um, practice, essentially. I generally find that I need to place two conveyor poles widthwise along the far edge um, where it leads up and actually turns the corner. And I also need to place a minimum of one conveyor pole lengthwise just slightly in so that it nudges us um, into the, the corner or out of the corner. Providing you do this right, you may need to go back and do it a few times to get it into the right position, but everything should be then running um, fully automated for you. Now to finish off, you can actually just land on the ground or like myself, you can add a little flashier ending by adding a little conveyor belt, which takes you up to an end point and then disappears underneath the floors. And for this, I use the, um, the walkways. Now I highly recommend building the elevator blueprint first and then decorating it afterwards uh, rather than doing all of this at once. And on the note of decoration, um, I like to place conveyors at floor height to remove the need of jumping onto the actual conveyor belt. Now if you place the jump pad in the center of the build, this can actually cause some spaces which generally I tend to, to, to like to cordon off. However, 
For a beautiful connection between the walkway and the foundations, place the conveyor pole exactly one step away from the foundations. Now this may cause some complications depending on if you want your bounce pad central, but once you've got everything in position and have decorated the elevator, you can have a pretty sweet automated setup like this. So, there you are guys, I hope you enjoyed this very quick guide, if you did please drop a thumbs up on the video and if you want to see more and haven't already do make sure you follow me on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube and join our Discord, the link is below. Anyway guys, until next time, ciao for now.